exciting episode of Codename New to Bureau 2. Hi, I'm your presenter, Shabu R.U. Now, we are into week two of Cobra Convergence 4, and we are off to a great start. Everybody has done a phenomenal job with their YouTube, whether it's Instagram or podcasts. They have been entertaining. It's something to look forward to every day. And the important thing that I want everyone to, you know, think about is that this is a fan for fan event. And the brainchild of our good friend ACC788 and the fact that it's incorporating, including everybody in the community makes this that much more special. And you know what? Hasbro is going to take note. IDW is going to take note. Other communities, especially the one with the Wookiee and the lightsabers that has gone, you know, too big, um, they're going to take notice. So that's what I think this is wonderful, and I'm glad everyone's participating. Remember, you're just as important as everybody that's putting out content, because without you patting our backs, saying go, 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 I mean, think about it. That's what we do it for us a like, a subscribe, just, you know, saying, good job. None of us is making money off of this. This is all be fans from the heart. So your likes, your subscribing, it means all that much. It just shows what a, a close-knit, strong community we have. Now, for this week's video, you know, usually I do like a comic recap or maybe focus in on another franchise like Voltron or Thundercats or something else. But because it's Cobra Convergence 4, I'm sticking with uh, G.I. Joe and Cobra. Now, I don't really review uh, toy reviews because we got two of the best in the biz in HCC 788 and Form BX 257 So the only time I did really was during last year's Cobra Convergence when I brought out the female Cobra Trooper. I think that's a phenomenal figure and it was a three-part series which ended with the G.I. Joe Club closed with the Night Stalkers figurines. Again, if you haven't seen it, check that video out and if you could find them and pick them up because I love my female Cobra Troopers. For this week's video, I decided to look at the, the head cheese himself, Cobra Commander. Yojo.com has 54 versions of the crazy one himself. So out of those 54, which ones are often overlooked? Of course we have version one and version two, but those are the iconic, you know, the ones that are just burned into our mind. The ones that followed that, eh, there's a little bit of a gray area and often for debate. So I pulled out two that I think um, are often overlooked and that deserve a second look. So again, this is subjective. You may find different versions that should be brought up to the forefront. That's what makes this all cool. It's just me and then you might have something different and I hope you include it in the comments below. I had more figures to showcase and share with everybody, but to no surprise, half of my stuff has gone missing and boop, vanished. And if you've seen my other videos and guest appearances, I've made a not so subtle hint on who is going to crack and who's going to go to the woo woo woo, woo the cuckoo house. And nobody listens to me. It's not like I have this. Woo! Nobody listens. According to Yojo.com, there are 56 versions of the Commander. He comes in second to Snake Eyes. Now, when you think of G.I. Joe and Cobra and you're just the general public, it makes sense. Snake Eyes is more attached to G.I. Joe and Cobra Commander is the more popular Cobra. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the iconic version 1 and version 2 figures. Now I highly recommend both Form BX257 and HCC788's more detailed review of these versions. To add, it's pretty rare for two versions of one character to be sought after. The marketing and promo of making kids 
that already have version one to desire the version two is just pure genius and a bad guy nonetheless. Now think about this for a second. Kids that already had a Darth Vader figure, I mean, they wouldn't buy another Darth Vader figure in Empire or Jedi if they already had one from the original Star Wars line. So Cobra Commander actually broke barriers and showed that a bad character can be popular. At this point, I want to acknowledge the 25th anniversary line. And I think for modern updates, it's pretty spot on and a good update versions of the original line. I mean, I have, but well, I did have both, but they're not here, but I love mine. For the sake of this video, hell, for my well-being, we will not consider whomever the kid from Third Rock and the Sun is supposed to be in the G.I. Joe movies. I mean, what the hell is this supposed to be? Ah, oh, why didn't Timur take this crap? All right, all right, focus. So around Cobra Commander's return in issue 100, we notice his, quote, hooded uniform got more garnish over his toy, sunbow, and comic look. And I know I'm not supposed to, but you can't help but laugh every time you see the first page of issue 100 of him kicking the dog from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. <laughs> I mean, I get a chuckle. Also note that as the Marvel run progressed, the color of his hooded uniform got progressively more darker towards almost black. All this sets up to what I believe are the most underrated Cobra Commander figures, starting off with the version 6, the 1993 Battle Corps Cobra Commander. Now, to me, this one most reflects to what we were seeing in the Marvel run towards the end. And, you know, just that darker color change, I think this is a beautiful figure. I really like the black and the silver. Now, this one was based off the 92 Talking Battle Commanders uh, Cobra Commander figure, and I didn't like that. So it's amazing what the color change, how of an impact that had. Well, I still have this couple figures left from the... Uh, snap, whatever Timmer did, but I like to pair this version 6 Cobra Commander with version 2 Iron Grenadier Destro. I think with the black, I mean, that just pops right there on a display stand. And of course, you know, Baroness, she could be displayed like in the middle between the version 1 and version 2 of Cobra Commander and also the version 6 and the darker uh, Cobra Commander. I think, you know, but you see the difference between version 2 and version 6. That You got more garnish, you know, and the eyes are a little bit bigger, and when, as we're spinning around, you know, that that silver, just that little touch, I, I don't know, it just pops to me. Where the 92, that's in yellow, and I just think it's ugly. I don't like it at all. And again, this is more reflective of what was going on in Marvel, in my opinion. The second most underrated figure is one that I talked about in a previous video when discussing the Dollar General G.I. Joe figures. And to me, this is the rightful modern of the version 6 one. Again, all black, more reflective towards the end of the Marvel run. And for something that is supposed to be quote-unquote discount, this is a top-level figure. I think this actually is a lot better. I like this better than the 25th anniversary version. As I mentioned earlier, I talked about the Dollar General line altogether in an earlier video. But this is considered version 50 of Cobra Commander. And again, the detail for a supposed you know, discounted figure is exceptional i got a pistol a sword and you got the you know the the garnish the belts and everything a very good detail for a modern figure and of course the uh, stance has two footholds where the 25th line usually had one 
And I think pairing him with any um, modern characters is great. So these are my two most underrated Cobra Commander figures. And I would love to hear what you guys think. And don't forget to check out all the other content we have for Cobra Convergence 4. I mean, you're not going to do work at work, right? So just plug this in and listen to it. I mean, who the heck does work? Anyway, um, this is Shibu R.U. signing off.